Y'all, 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 we're going to jump right into this. So why we've been out here trying to figure out the saga is Liv having a baby and trying to figure out what's going on and if it's a baby alive or if it is a baby right from Nightmare on Elm Street. Honey, we have been trying to figure it out, but while we've been figuring it out, guess what? Oh, yes. Him and Nisha have been out here living their best life. Y'all, they've been in Vegas. And this poor, sad little one here has been trying to figure out which baby to pick out, which photo to shop, and what to get done. Uh huh. And why she's sitting there with the baby blues. Goo, goo. Her ex husband is out here having the time of his life. So, in case you guys did not know, <laughs> uh, Gerard and Nisha are in Vegas. Mm -hmm. They are having a wonderful time. They have been going live. They are staying in a penthouse. If you don't believe me, all you have to do is look right over on Gerard's Instagram. But what really got me was this picture right here. He did not only show his woman in numerous videos, but he labeled it as all mine. Uh huh. On the 66th penthouse floor. Wow. <laughs> Aww. That poor Zabungis. Liv is in the house trying on bathing suits, wishing she was at the beach, trying to figure out what lullaby she's going to sing, baby JJ, aka just joking. Now, let's get serious real quick. This right here, I love to see. I love to see couples having a good time. I love to see couples managing themselves as parents. And see, that's the one thing I did not get with Olivia. She could not manage a marriage, motherhood, and being a parent. Everything about Olivia was self-centered and all about herself. I almost wonder if she sits at home. I don't wonder because I know she does. And just think to herself like, man, this could be me. This could have been me. And I'm not here to, you know, like poke jabs or be funny because at the end of the day, Olivia has lost a lot in her life this year. Her marriage, her dignity, her children, her mind. Ooh, and just completely her overall self-being. And I could only imagine being the ex and sitting back watching this. And then sitting back watching, knowing, okay, well, guess what? Not only are they having a wonderful time, but who has my children? What are my children doing? What are my children eating? What are my children doing? What are my children being? And what could I have done to do the situation? And see, that's what gets me with Olivia. She does not do reflection of what I can do better to get the situation better. Instead, seeing something like this causes her to want to call Nisha the maid or the help. But honey, the maid don't go on vacations. Uh-huh. The help usually don't go on vacations. The help usually don't have the man. The maid typically uh, does not get to live her best life. Or in the words of Gerard. Hey, we fit to go have fun tonight, baby. Ooh, the maid and the help don't get to go have a good time. Ooh, I just be wondering what Olivia thinks when she sees this. When I say it's not a jaw drop, it's like boop, the teeth fall out. So, Olivia, this would be my word of advice. And don't sit back and get mad because you know when Olivia gets mad, she tries to stay silent or she tries to fake the baby birth just a little bit more. She tries to roll her eyes more on camera. She tries to talk about her invisible boyfriend, her invisible baby daddy. But you know what, honey? Let that be your motivation right there. Let that be your motivation of what could come, what should have came, and what did not come. Get yourself together, girlfriend, and go out and get you your happy. Because, Olivia, no matter what you say right now, we know you're not living your happy. We know. Because there's no way. Because there's no way I could be happy not knowing who's doing my baby's hair, where they're at. Okay, I'm seeing these. I just, y'all, I'm telling you, that would drive me crazy.
But I just wanted to check in with Gerard and Nisha because they've been out here doing their thing on Instagram, okay? And I know there are a lot of my followers that don't do Instagram. So they be like, Storm, we need you to hit us with the one-two. So here's the one-two punch. Gerard is living his best life. He did. I don't show kids, but just for those who don't know, he has been putting up a lot of pictures of the kids. Looks like Robin and Ryan are in gymnastics. And Christian is in sports as well. The cutest little picture of Ryan being in a play was put up. Oh, my goodness. Hair, Conte, hair laid, clothes laid, matching, getting down with the get down and living a best life. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on that side of the story. Tomorrow, we'll get back into this side of the story, the more sadder side of the story okay so guys i will see you later and enjoy your saturday night